Hi friends, my name is Brooke Lasky and I live here in Elmwood. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to paint a little picture about books and our favorite character this year, Grogu. He's from Star Wars, um, actually from The Mandalorian, and he has been wonderful um, this year. Super, super cute. Um, I'm sure you've seen him. Another name for him is Baby Yoda. Um, so I am going to show you guys real quick how I do this and then we'll come back and talk about it, okay? Here we go. That was super fast, right? Let's break it down. So the first thing you're going to want to do is grab a fresh canvas. Hi friends, my name is Brooke and I'm here to tell you about supplies. So for this project, this week we're going to need a 16 by 20 inch canvas is what I'm going to use. You can use a piece of paper, you can use a smaller canvas, you can use whatever you want, whatever you've got at home. Um, I have a one inch brush, I call this the Papa brush. This is my half inch brush, it's the mama brush, and then this is my little baby brush. So they're all little square brushes and they're all flat. Um, when I'm not using them, I'm keeping them in a little jar of clean water so that they don't get crispy or crunchy. And then usually I only have three brushes, but say I'm bringing out this special one, it's a little detail brush. There we go, we'll use that at the end. Okay, let's talk about what else we need. A towel, an apron, um, your grown-up might want to lay out like a disposable tablecloth or some newspaper down around your area just so that you don't get messy. Remember, we're not painting ourselves unless our grown-up says that's okay, okay? Excellent. Another thing that we're going to need is our Bob Ross attitude. Has anybody heard of Bob Ross before? Awesome. He's an artist on PBS. We actually have a little picture of him right up here. And he reminds us that there are no mistakes, only happy accidents, okay? If something happens in your painting and you're like, oh no, that's not what I meant to do. Maybe you drop your paintbrush on it or something. You can take a deep breath, relax, and then see what we can do with that. Maybe that little mark is just like a bird flying in the sky. Maybe it's just an extra book. Maybe it's the beginning of the title on the edge of a book. Maybe it's a little chair. Like you can make it whatever you want, okay? Don't panic. Okay, friends, so let's talk about this painting. Here we go. What we're gonna do first is the whole background. Then we're going to paint in our little books. They're going to be a series of lines. And we're gonna put in some shelves. We're going to make it all the nice, fun colors. If you guys want to at that point, you can go in and put like titles on your favorite books. It'll all depend on how you paint your painting. Then we'll add in Grogu down in the bottom corner and we'll have his little arm out reaching um, and we'll have one book coming towards him, okay? So that's going to be the painting that I'm going to walk you through today. Here we go. If you have questions, um, I will send the library all of my contact information. You're more than welcome to reach out and, and ask those questions and I would love to see everybody's final paintings. Okay, here we go. One more thing I want to say. I've been teaching painting for the company that I work for now for three and a half years, but before that I did it in high school, and before that I just loved drawing and painting myself. Um, so it really does start at a young age. I want you guys to realize that the way that you hold a paintbrush and apply paint to the canvas is unique to you, just like your handwriting. Everyone's is going to be different, everyone's will be beautiful, okay? They were all the same, it'd be very, very boring. Okay. Don't be afraid to use your imagination, okay? You guys got this. Here we go. So I've got my daddy brush and I've got some brown and I am going to drop some water into my brown paint onto my palette. So like a lot of water. Like I'm going to use my daddy brush and keep dipping it and like drop maybe three good brush holes of water into my brown paint and then I'm going to stir it up. Okay? Oh, earlier 
when we were talking about supplies, the paint colors that I'm using tonight are brown, blue, yellow, red, white, and black. Okay. <clears throat> So I have some brown paint here, and I am going to mix that water in and get it consistent. The way that I know that it's ready is because it is very shiny, it's thinner, and I can see bubbles. It's getting very frosty. Okay. Here we go. So horizontal strokes, that means back and forth, side to side, all the way from one side to the other. We're going to cover the background with this brown, this light. If your brown is too dark, you can always add a little black, or I mean a little white to it to lighten it up. So I've got the whole background covered and I'm going to wait for this to dry for one minute and then I'm going to put some black horizontal lines to mark out my bookshelf. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one right at the halfway point, okay, about, doesn't have to be exactly, they're all going to be different. So I kind of decide how tall do I want my shelf to be, so I put my middle one, and basically I kind of just want to split them evenly, so I'm using my baby flat brush, I'm using black paint that has no water in it, okay, and I am drawing out my little shelves, trying to keep them nice and level, they're not going to be perfect, so that's fine. Okay, now I'm going to go up about the same amount of space. I would say it's like four fingers, about one, two, three, four, okay, each time. And then I'll jump up four fingers again. This top one is just slightly taller. That's a-okay. Don't stress yourself out over the small stuff, right? Okay. Now, our canvas needs a minute to dry. Um, Okay, y'all, let's put in Grogu, okay? So what we're gonna do is, we're going to start by loading up our baby brush. I've got just a little bit on the end, about the size of a pea. And I'm gonna draw in little Grogu, okay? His head's gonna go like in the center of the second shelf, about halfway up the second shelf, but it's gonna be over to the right. So I'm gonna start about halfway across, and right in the center of that shelf, halfway up that shelf. And I'm gonna start this as one little ear. It's almost horizontal, but it dips down. It goes slightly diagonally down towards the right. Okay, and then the top of his head is like a little semicircle. Okay, and then his other ear does the same thing. We're trying to get that reflection. There we go, about the same angle. All right, so those are the tops of his ears and the top of his head. Now underneath, his ear is kind of rounded at the tip, and then it pulls down. Other ear, same deal. Wider towards the bottom. 
and then we're going to mark out where his tiny rope goes. So for that, I'm just going to do like a little smiley face right here under his head. That's the back of his collar. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to bring one line down here. That's going to be like his, his side. Okay. And then I've got a little arm reaching out. Okay, he's reaching out and up. What do you imagine he's reaching for? Maybe his favorite bedtime story about him and Mando. Out in the galaxy. All right, so I'm gonna give him one, two little fingers there. And if you wanna do a third one, you can. I'm just doing this two, like you can just see the top one. And I'm gonna just pull right back into his little sleeve here. There we go. Then I'm gonna fill in his whole little shape with white. Over on this side, I'm gonna do a slight triangle, like where his little elbow would be, and then this line's just gonna come down. Okay? Now I'm gonna fill this whole little shape with white paint and let that be drying so that I can get the colors on there when it's time. Okay. Some Spotify going. Oh my gosh, what am I even doing? Oh my gosh. Okay. Love to help hear how everybody is tonight. Hey Lacey. Hi Lena. Poor Nene is still connecting to audio. I don't know what's going on there. <clears throat> Okay, y'all, it's time. Let's do uh, the little rectangles for the books, okay? Here we go. So I like to mark out where mine go ahead of time because otherwise I kind of get sloppy or make patterns or things that I don't really want to do. So marking them out is a safe way to go for sure. Um, I'm going to use my baby brush, the baby square one. And I'm going to start by on the top shelf at the top left and I'm just going to draw in rectangles, okay? Just the sides and the top of each rectangle. You can leave the bottom just sitting on top of that little black shelf. And we're going to do these all the way down. Here we go. Hi guys. Today we're 
will be playing Baby Yoda. I'm Carter. That's Mom. So I just had some little helpers in here helping me fill in these books in all the rainbow colors. I asked them to use um, basically the Roy G. Biff colors and not black. The only place I really want like real black is right where the book that is coming down was. So what we want to do there is water down a little bit of black. We're going to use this little brush and apply it right back there. We're making it all shadowy right back there. That's even a little more black with no water in it. There we go. I really think this is like more of a charcoal than black. And I'm not hitting like every single spot and just kind of shading back there a little bit. This is pretty dry. It was a little bit damp when I started, but now it's pretty dry. So I'm going to get it in a little more water. I'm going to mix in um, a little black paint and kind of stir that around so that my brush has a little watered down black on it. And then I'm going to go here around these edges, clean up the edges of these spots. I'm back. Um, so Justin helped me fill in the. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, so Justin helped me fill in the shadow. So nice of him. We were just filling in with a little bit of watered down black above each um, shelf of books, so that it looked a little bit shadowier, so that our books popped out a little bit more at us. Um, so one thing is that I asked boys to get as close to the white line as we could, even overlap it, so that the colors are right up next to each other. Um, I can still see a little bit of white, so I'm going to go around and detail each little book. So for example, this one's red. I'm just going to take a little red here and just fill in that white space. There we go. Now the books look like they're snuggled up against each other. Second coat of red. There we go. Awesome, awesome. through and I went around every book and I have cleared out all of the white. There's a few little lines here and there that are still popping through and as I go through my painting I might um, go through and cover those up. But I will probably wait um, just a few minutes because right now I want to start adding some layers to my little baby Yoda, um, my little Grogu. Uh, so we make green which is yellow plus blue. I always start with a bigger pile of yellow, maybe the size of a nickel, and then I add in blue really slowly. Like I would start with the size of a pea of blue. Lots of yellow, little bit of blue. And that's the color that I'm gonna put over this. 
Um, so when I did it originally, it was white. My boys filled it in green. You can use any color green for the base. And then I'm gonna add a little yellow and blue. Mix, mix, mix. Mix, mix, mix. We want bright green, lots of yellow. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> So I'm just using this little baby brush, it's like my little um, baby square brush, and I'm going to do this along the top of his little noggin, and then along his ears, and you'll notice that I'm leading with the handle of my brush, and I'm pulling, dragging the tip of that right behind it, okay? So that got way more yellow really quick. So I'm going to fill that in, always following the curve of his, the shape of his head. There we go. So now it's like light yellowy green. <clears throat> so I'm going to mix up a second batch of green and it's going to be darker green. So it's going to be about half and half. Half blue, half yellow. Sweet. Now while this bright green is still wet, what I'm going to do is just drag this little brush right along the bottom of his neck, the bottom of his little ears, Okay, so right now it looks like kind of a really stark line. You can really notice the difference between the dark green and the light green. The way that we get rid of that line is we take this dirty brush and we scrub it out on our towel, but we don't rinse it in the water. We just scrub it on our towel and now it's dry and it has a little bit of residue. That's just like leftover paint in the brush. What we're going to do before either of these colors dry is go right back in and blend them. That means go right between them and do little brush strokes back and forth, still following the curve of his little noggin. We just want to make sure that we're keeping that dark green down at the bottom, the lighter greens towards the top, but we're softening up that line. If yours isn't blending, you may need to dip just the end of your paintbrush in a little bit of water, and then kind of tap it on your towel and go right back in. If yours is like really blending with the books behind it, you can always add just a little bit of white to the top of his noggin and his ears so that he really pops. Um, you can also change the color of the books behind him. So like maybe you have a bunch of yellow and green books right here. You can totally add red, blue, different colors, so pink, purple, so that it kind of pops against his little head. Okay, <clears throat> then he also has green on his little hand. So I'm just going to do like two little fingers coming out, like he's reaching and that's, I think he really has three, but I'm going to say that you can't see the third one, you can only see these two. Okay, and he's summoning this book here with his little force, force grab. Okay, I'm going to re-apply um, green to the cover of this book. It got a little bit faded after it dried. It needs another coat. Okay. Okay, so earlier when we drew this, um, when we drew this shape, sorry words are hard, uh, we did the front cover, which is a rectangle, but it was sitting at a diagonal, and then we did the back cover, which kind of came out and then came back down, and that is going to be green, but my green was so see-through that I couldn't get it to show up, so I put white, and now I've got green on my brush, and I'm going to lay this right on top of it. You don't push very hard when you're layering two wet paints. There we go. So that's the back cover. Now I'm rinsing my brush totally. Okay. I'm going to dry it off and I'm going to get just the tiniest amount of white on the end of it. And I'm just going to drag that from the spine. Remember, that's the back of the book. Right out to the edge.
side. So we've got some little pages in there and I'm just pulling the edges of those out and down. using a clean wet brush to kind of clean up where I just went a little bit too far with that white paint. There we go. And then <clears throat> I'm really going to go through and I'm going to write book titles on all of these. I like to use a regular sized black sharpie. Um, this is probably a grown up job unless you're really um, a little bit older. So as long as your grown-up trusts you to trust you to use a marker, smaller kids might want to use a washable one. Um, all we're gonna do is turn our painting so that Grogu is down in the bottom left corner, and then you can start labeling your books. Okay? So let's see. This one for me will be yeah, hard to see, okay. So there's one, and now I'm going to do all of these. So like for this little green one, I think I'm going to do Grogu and Manda's Travels, because like I imagine that that's like Grogu's bread and butter, right? Like, that's probably his favorite book. So. I'm just kind of outlining this little book here. I'm going to separate out our little pages. One, two, three. Back cover. Okay. So that Sharpie helped us divide that out a little bit, and I'll clean up my lines in just a few minutes. But what I'm gonna do now is, again, turn this this way. And start filling all the books, okay? Here we go. On every book and then I've outlined all of them with the black sharpie. I've also gone through and outlined Grogu. Okay, just added a little bit of line work to him. I also added kind of a smiley face here of shading. That's like right under his noggin, um, like where his collar would be. <clears throat> I outlined his tiny little hand right here. I outlined his sleeve and then just ran it right off the page on both sides of him. And I've also got his little elbow poking out there with the Sharpie, okay? There we go. Alrighty. So I believe that is all for this painting. It's super simple. You guys can all handle it. I would love, love, love to see everybody's at the end. Um, I will give the library my contact information, but um, I believe in you guys. You are all artists.